Hey what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and I've got a really quick Photoshop tutorial for you today. Now this one is how you can add a picture into your text. Um, the same as like what I've got on my YouTube banner at the minute. Um, it's really quick, really simple. So what we're going to need to do first is obviously you're going to need the background. Okay, so what we're going to do, you go to file, when you're in file, go to new. Now at the moment it's in default uh, photo size shop. So if you go down to custom, and in custom change centimeters two pixels that's the most important thing and now you need a 1920 so if we do that one first okay 1920 by 1080 okay and then the resolutions are 150 okay so once you've got 150 resolutions 1920 by 1080 click ok and now you've got your own um, screen up and stuff absolutely fantastic um, so now what you're going to also need to do is go to your text tool so just click on the little T okay click anywhere on your page and now you can write whatever you want to so let's let's do uh, gaming there we go and click the little tick now go to your move icon up here okay and you need to get this back down now obviously you can see is a little bit too big for the actual page so if you hold the alt key down okay you can then manipulate this if it's going to work there you go into whatever one you want okay and once you've got it back to size hold the shift key and now the shift key is a little bit more of a delicate operation and it allows you to manipulate it kind of like a little bit better okay so once you've done that and you're happy with um, where it's got to be so let's just see that looks about level to me so once you've done that you've leveled it all off using your alt and your shift key and stuff obviously make sure your writing's in black as well um, you probably can use other colors but black um, I find a lot more easier and stuff it adds a nice little kind of like background to the um, text so now what I'm going to do is so I'm going to go and grab a picture um, bring it into Photoshop and then I'll show you the next bit well then everybody here we go we've got the picture in now this one is obviously the new Supergirl and also the new Superman and stuff which is on a uh, what is it the American TV and stuff absolutely fantastic Supergirl is and the new Superman he don't look too bad but anyway besides that let's press the tick and allow this one in now what you've got to do is bring your picture down so it's just on top of the actual text okay that's the most important bit to start off with so it just covers up the text okay like so hang on there's a little bit with ink on it there we go so now you press your tick and now obviously you've got your picture but it's covering up your text so what you do is you make sure you're on your picture layer okay that's important make sure your picture layer is highlighted now once you is right click okay now go down to create clipping mask once your clipping mask is done as you can see the picture is now um your text which is absolutely fantastic but the thing what i don't like is it still looks a little bit flat on the page and stuff like that but we're going to solve that now so what you're going to do is you're going to now click on your text layer important your text layer okay right click again now go to blending options when you're on blending options and um, you've got this one which is beveled and embossed okay so click on that and if we toggle off the little tick if i just move that up there for a second okay if i toggle off the tick you can actually see that now it gives it um curves and a little bit more definition okay so that's quite an important bit and um, now what you're going to do as well you can go into stroke um and in stroke you can add a color to your actual text so at the moment we've got a blue one okay because the blue one kind of like blends in with the um the sky and the superman theme and stuff but you can change it to wherever you want um you can do it inside you can also change it to the outside of it okay we still don't look too bad um and then you can obviously change the scale so you can do it like that if you want or you can bring it right down and you can i'm thinking though the smaller is the better okay and then you can do that and you've got a nice little shadow to it as well okay you can also do um an inner shadow and as you can see 
what I did in the shadow does is adds a little bit more definition. You can add it in the glow, which does the same as well. So now the picture is beginning to like stick out the text a little bit. It looks pretty cool. And then you can also add a little bit of out of glow. If we just click on that for a second. Okay, you can do like soft that, um, add noise. Okay, you can do an absolutely load of stuff with it. Um, and then you can also do a drop shadow as well. Okay, so if we just press OK on that for a minute, that is pretty much it all sorted. You've now got your picture behind your text and stuff. You've added a border to the actual text. You've given it a little bit more definition and making the letters look a little bit more rounder and a little bit more nicer. Um, hopefully, though, you have found as well this tutorial useful. If you did, um, why not comment down below and let us know? Uh, also, hit the little subscription button and hit the little bell next to it, get notified of any future videos. And as always, everyone, till next video, keep safe and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.